Hi everyone. Okay, it is time to try some more new makeup, you guys. I feel like it was only a week or two ago that I put up another like makeup haul, trying new makeup, but y'all, so much is being released. It is incredible and I'm just, I feel like I go through hills and valleys of like kind of being tired of new makeup and like, okay, I'm good for a while. And then I go through seasons like I'm going through right now where I'm just really excited to try a bunch of stuff out there. And so that's what we're gonna do because I'm feeling it. I had pulled you guys on Instagram and asked, if you wanted to see just drugstore products in this video or if you wanted a mix and I kind of showed some of the products that I have right now and a lot of you guys actually I think like 70 something percent of you guys um, said that you wanted to see both so that's what we're gonna do I literally <laughs> as I was like charging the battery actually for my camera I was scrolling on Ulta's app and I was like oh my gosh and so I just placed an order for some other new stuff uh, from the drugstore so there's probably another one of these videos in the future I'm cool with that this is what I love to do so anyway cheers let's try some new makeup together also my mug feels appropriate it is like Valentine's season well almost I got this last year and I, it just makes me so happy and Marie is so cute we just got back from Disney World and Genevieve got a little Marie doll my mom bought her while we were there and she was so excited about it and it is very very cute like low-key I was like yeah that one get asked for that one <laughs> anyway okay let's throw on lip balm this is not well this one is new this is the lawless forget the filler overnight lip mask I've been using this a while I love it I've only used this one once though this is the sweet dream scent I guess um these are just my favorite <laughs> they're just my favorite it is like my top lip product that I've discovered in the past few months, maybe a year. Um, my favorite one is the birthday cake one though, if you can get your hands on it. But this one is nice. It doesn't really have a super strong scent. So if you don't want a super strong scent, you might like this one in Sweet Dream, but they're all kind of sheer, but they're just like a nice juicy lip mask. I wear it, it's technically for overnight. I wear it during the day, I don't care. One lives in my purse and I love it. Okay, I'm also in that stage like after a trip or vacation where I feel very, oh, like my body needs more fruits and vegetables. And it need, you know what I mean? Like you, I try when we're out and about to get, you know, fruits and vegetables where we're going, but you know how it is when you're out and about and you're eating at restaurants and it can be hard to get like, you can tell when your body just needs certain nutrients more. <laughs> so we've been the past few days, like trying to eat really like square meals with vegetables and just like really good stuff in them. So trying to get myself like back to kind of where I was, where I was feeling really good. So we're on the road, baby. <laughs> So I'm currently eating an apple. So let's start with the face. So this is the Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. It's a hydrating glow primer is how they describe it. I'm excited. I love a good radiant primer. I feel like I haven't tried any like face products from Pixie in a minute. So let's see what this looks like. It's a squeezy tube and kind of looks like a lot of the glowy primers. Ooh, yes that I already like. That was looking really pretty, right? I don't think there's multiple shades. I think this is meant to be used for anyone because it kind of, well, I guess we're gonna see. Very, very glowy. Wow, okay, like very glowy. <laughs> but it's pretty. And I feel like if you are someone watching this and you have dry skin and you feel like no matter what, um, I mean, there's a lot more to, you know, dry skin and stuff, but if you feel like your skin always looks dull, try something like this that's like almost overly glowy that you might be like maybe intimidated by because once you put foundation on top of it, I have a feeling, we're gonna see, but I have a feeling this will glow through and it's really gonna take that dullness that you feel like your skin has and make it look juicier. Cause this is, I mean, this is super glowy, but I mean, I feel like my skin <laughs> looks nice and healthy. Dang, I feel like a lot of the glowy primers that I tend to like are not this level, but I'm kind of liking it. Ooh, okay, and I like the packaging. I will say Pixie's packaging a lot of times looks really pretty. Just kind of simple, a lot of times it'll have like their green, their trademark like mint green, but I, that's just pretty. Always excited to try new things, okay. This foundation is from Essence. This was sent to me in PR, so like half of this was bought, half of this was PR, it's just kind of a mixed bag. This is the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. So it says it's got no added, interesting, no added paraben silicones, microplastic particles. It's vegan, transfer and waterproof, long lasting. We're gonna see, they had sent me three shades. This was the darkest of the ones they sent me and it seems the closest. I don't think any of them were a good match. The other two were definitely too light. So this is 60 shell. 
got a nice glass bottle. Let me see how much this is because Essence prices are usually nice and low and it's always cool to me when products that are, you know, less expensive still have like a nice glass bottle, a nice pump. Okay, yeah, $6.99 at Ulta. So it has medium to high coverage, um, 16 hour wear, and it says one pump for light coverage, two to three pumps for medium to full. So okay, we're just gonna see. I feel like it's been a minute since I've used like a full coverage product, like foundation. It feels kind of thin though, like lightweight. It looks really nice over that primer. I mean, you can see that glow still. That was like one full pump. Was it a full pump? Maybe it wasn't a full, it was like maybe a halfsy. Let me try this side with a brush just to see. So I feel like it applied really nicely with the brush as well, but you can definitely see a coverage difference between the brush side and the sponge side. That's no surprise, that's how it always is. But um, it definitely looks nice over this primer. Mmm, 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 mmm. Drugstore Dynamic Duo, you know? This is that Essence brush I use all the time, or no, 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 Haley's Beauty brush that I use all the time. That is definitely my go-to for foundation. I have another one from BK Beauty that I also really like for foundation, but this one's good for foundation and it's really good for um, cream bronzer. I can link this exact one below if you're curious. I mean, it's definitely covering a good amount. Like I said, you can see the coverage difference, but it is covering a lot. It doesn't feel like wildly full coverage though. Like, you know, when you try a foundation and you're like, whoa, like that is full coverage. This is not giving me those, those feels, you know? So I find it interesting that it's marketed as like medium to full. I guess medium to full. Maybe that's it. It could just be built up just, just thinking out loud. I actually um, had makeup on earlier today and wiped it off so I could do this video. It's been a weird, really sad week. People we know that have passed away and so it's been like a week of funerals and um, it's just been a weird week, you know? And, and like I said, just sad. But it's nice to escape for a little bit. So I'm really liking the way this looks. I'm gonna be honest with you, <laughs> when I opened this PR package, I saw, I love Essence. There's so much from Essence I love. But I was like, long lasting foundation, full coverage. I'm like, I'm probably not gonna like it, but I kinda wanna try it. I'm liking this more than I thought, and I can't decide if it's the foundation itself or the primer. That's always the thing about videos like this, but I am always, like, there's always a new primer to try and a foundation, so it's, it's hard to differentiate. I'll try to update you guys in a future video, like, as I try these separately and, you know, let you know. But it is looking real nice together, I have to say. So I don't think I need, like, another layer on. I could see as I'm looking at this up close where this might not be really, like, you can kind of see right here. I feel like if I had put this on top of a matte primer, it might not look as nice. Let me rephrase. It might not look the way I would like it to look. I think it would look a little bit cakey, but over something like this, I think it's looking really nice. So there you go. Now the concealer we're using might be too light. So we might have to swerve away from this, but we're gonna give it a try. This is from that same line, the Essence Keep Me Covered. This is the concealer. So it has aloe vera in it. It says buildable, medium coverage, creamy texture. I, this was again, the kind of darkest shade number 30 that they sent me. And I still think it's a little too light. We're gonna give her a whirl. Oof. I know this lighting's a little interesting. I'm using just daylight, but then of course I also have these. So it's kind of, hopefully it's okay. I've been really enjoying the look of the videos. Like when I'm rewatching them back, I really have been enjoying the videos with the normal lighting and not my like studio lighting. Um, I don't know why that is. The problem is too, it's been so gray. I'm sure it's probably gray where a lot of you guys live too this time of year. And so natural lighting, honestly, like gray window, you know what I mean, can actually be really good. I'm a little bit tempted to turn off this overhead light though to see because sometimes that'll adjust and it'll end up looking better. So I might do that in a second so you guys can see all of this in slightly different lighting. Okay, that blended in really, really fast. So looking at with and without, it definitely covered and it was a really thin layer essence what you doing and i don't think the shade looks bad i think it brightened it nicely but it doesn't look like you know weird or like too bright and i feel like i am very hard pressed i like a thicker concealer i don't know what it is like i like one that's a little bit moussey or a little bit whipped and this one being so thin and almost serum like i was like ooh but it's looking good so if you are someone that gets ready sitting on the floor and you want an up close mirror I got this one on Amazon and it, it's adjustable, it's height adjustable. And then it has like a super magnified side and like the normal side. Just saying, I've been using it for filming of course and I actually have it on like a Bible. <laughs> 
in another book to kind of raise it up just enough because I think I have it at its highest. Well, actually I should check that. I'm pretty sure I have it at its highest setting. I wish it went a little bit higher. But yeah, I really, I really do like it. It looks really nice. Let me, let me adjust the lighting here. Yeah, wow, that is a huge difference in lighting, but I feel like you might be able to actually see it better, so I might, I might just leave it off. Different vibes for different parts of the video, you know? This is just the way we roll, roll with me here. But don't you feel like you can see the makeup a little bit better? Wow, okay. It really does look nice. All of it really does. I think if you have oily skin, just looking at the way the primer is shining through, that might be too much for you, the Pixi Primer. Y'all, this is gonna be a long video. I'm just feeling chatty, okay? So, so far, we've got some good products. Let's keep rocking and rolling. So, for brow, oh my gosh. I When I saw these were launched, I could not, I could not wait to try it. So, my brows used to be non-existent. To, to save you the whole story for those that already know, my brows used to be super light and sparse. I started using the Grande Brow Serum. It changed my brow life and now I have brows like I don't feel like I have to put stuff in them which I've never experienced so anyway so I love that serum but you have to keep using it I continue to repurchase it I love it they now have the grande brow two-in-one so it has their brow enhancing serum in it but it also has a tint so it's your makeup but it's also helping your brows grow in while you're wearing the makeup during the day this is so genius I am so excited so I have medium and dark I'm assuming medium would be right but sometimes the tone of medium type Brow products can be weird, so then I kind of swerve to dark, but we're gonna give her a whirl. So the packaging is interesting. It's got a teeny tiny wand, which is what I like. Okay, this is definitely gonna be plenty dark, and it looks like it's um not, it doesn't lean warm tone, which is good. They do have like an auburn one and then a light one. I think those might be all the shades. So let's just give it a try. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> I have no complaints. This could be such a game changer because having the serum like continually being put in my brows in the mornings is amazing like that I love that I'll be curious if it's the exact same serum or not like I feel like they have a mascara I know they have a mascara that has like their lash serum in it but I, I if I remember when I was looking into it I want to say it wasn't actually the legitimate serum it was like some of it or like some other version or maybe it just had castor oil something like that so I'll be curious if it actually has their, like, the same serum formula in this. Even if it's only helping somewhat, I think that's pretty awesome. So this is very exciting. Totally moving this right in there into my vanity to use each day. It's looking, I mean, it looks, you know, this is the way I like my brows to look. So there we go. And now I can donate the dark shade. We're going to go really simple with the eyes. I have these Pixie Eye Lift Maxes. So they're a liquid shadow. They're really pretty. I was playing with them earlier and I want to do, I think, a bold lip today, but it's literally just a liquid shadow. And when you, it's just like a pretty wash look at that, of shimmer. This shade here is Sunset. I think I'm just going to kind of well, I guess I can just draw it directly on and then blend it in. I will be curious about like creasing with this and that kind of thing because that's a lot of times where liquid shadows can fall short as if they don't hold up to like wearing it all day. But I love the look of like a really pretty like light shimmer all over like from there to there. all Lash to brow and then like a bold lip. I just feel like that can be so pretty. So this is that sunset shade. I might try like a second layer. I was craving a little bit more. I might try the other shades a little bit lighter and maybe it'll be a little bit almost brighter. It does look pretty though. Like it looks like you tried just a little bit in a good way, but that took, you know, two seconds. Let me try this other shade. So this one, if you want to see them side by side. So that's sunset, which I just put on my eyes. That is chiffon. So see what I mean? It's it's a little bit lighter. Let me put this on top of this. Very frosty, which I feel like is kind of coming back in style, like a frosty eye look, which is just fun. I think that's fun. I feel like it looks pretty. So now I feel like I have to do it the same way. So I'll <laughs> put on sunset again, just to kind of keep it even across the board. Like I said, I feel like this shade here, if you're near my skin tone, is just really pretty because it almost blends in completely, but it has that slight shimmer and it's so I think it's just really pretty. Like I said, I just wanted a little bit more for this kind of look I'm going for. I could see that being an everyday type thing though. So I'm also throwing in the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen because I need a um, pencil liner. I don't have my powder puff, it's still packed away. And the reason I always use a powder puff here, by the way, is because when I put my hand on it, the warmth of my finger removes that makeup. So I'll just have to like kind of 
reapply, but that's why I always use one because it, then it doesn't mess with the makeup, you know? Okay, I just had to take a break because my battery was overheating and uh, I just watched um, a rehearsal from like a year ago for Wicked, uh, the musical. And I don't even know who was in it, like, it, but it, anyway, it was just a rehearsal and it was so exciting and I forgot how much, how good that musical is. Because of course, like when I was in high school, I was absolutely obsessed with it. Anyway, that was also, I was, <laughs> I could watch that all day. All right, back to the liner. So yeah, this one's from Pixie. We're just gonna kinda do a light. Oh, it's very, holy moly. This is like, it says silky. It is very creamy, holy crap. I'll be curious if this transfers down because I'm gonna put it in my waterline up there and just kind of see. Always looking for a dupe for my Makeup by Mario one. And I'm gonna grab just like a, this is actually the Sephora number 22 brush and just kind of blend it, smudge it, whatever you wanna call it. I've been doing this more often than anything lately. I don't know, I feel like it just looks a little more, I mean, it's, I'm obviously wearing makeup, it's not super natural, but Supernatural, get it? But it's just quick. Uh, typically, if you've been following me a long time, you know my like go-to liner look is winged liner, which I'm kind of doing here. I would also, gosh, that's so black. It almost looks like I'm wearing liquid liner, you know? Uh, anyway, I would typically do like a pencil and then do liquid liner on top. But lately I've just been doing the pencil. And boy, this one is so black, you almost don't even miss the like precision and darkness of a liquid liner. Holy moly. I wonder if they have a brown. In this, I've been, ooh, I knew I would do it. I've been partial to brown, like, oh man, liner lately. Let me get a, uh... oh wait, where's my thing? Everything is still packed away. My luggage was overweight, so I had to like divvy up my stuff into like switch things with Tyler's suitcase to kind of, you know what I mean? And so a lot of my things are in his suitcase and I he hasn't unpacked yet, so and I don't really feel like digging through. What was I saying? <laughs> Guys, this is the version of me you're getting today, okay? This is turning out to be thicker than I ever intended it. I think because it's so silky, the nice thing is it blends, I mean, really easily. You can really work with it. I mean, my goodness. If you are looking for a liner you can manipulate with a brush really easily, even after, I mean, I haven't touched this eye in like a minute or two and it still hadn't fully dried, so I was able to manipulate it some more. So if you're looking for a liner for that purpose, this may be the one, because that's pretty cool how easy that was to kind of mess with. So let me kind of touch up that area I was touching all on. The mascara, this is a new one from the drugstore I haven't really heard anyone talk about. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored. I did actually like the Exhibitionist liner. It was just so dry that I felt like within a week it was dried out. Like, But I like a drier formula mascara, so I'm, I'm excited to give this one a whirl. I like this kind of brush, the kind of more natural bristle giving me Lash Paradise from L'Oreal vibes where it, it just instantly makes it look kind of doe-eyed. Like I need a term for this kind of lash. It's my favorite version of mascara where it just looks like, velour is not the word, but it, it looks like fake lashes where it's just like so many little lashes, but it's imperfect, but in I think a really pretty way. It just looks so soft and fluttery. What's a word? Can you guys think of a word? What, what am I trying to say? Feathery, maybe that's the term I'm looking for. Looks really nice. That was really easy. This is so different than the mascaras I've been using lately. My Tarte Tubing Mascara, my Benefit Magnet Mascara. I Those are just ooh, top tier mascaras. They won my, did both of them? Were they, yeah, I think so. For my Jammy Awards, which is my like best of the year. If you have not seen that series, I did three videos. I did a drugstore makeup and then that is like my top favorite makeup of the year. Like they beat everything else out. So I did a drugstore version, a high-end version, and then I did a lifestyle version where I talk about everything else under the sun. Uh, if you wanna check that out, I'll link the videos below. Um, those are so fun to do every year. I've been doing them for like 10 years now, my goodness. Anyway, I am loving how full and feathery the lashes look. It just looks so soft. Ooh, gosh, I am absolutely, I'm glad I put a towel down. We got new carpet in this house recently, which was the most exciting purchase, I think. <laughs> Well, it was not fun to spend it. Carpet is freaking expensive. But that is one of the most like life altering in the silliest ways, getting new carpet because our carpet was, I think, original to the home. It was disgusting if you ever saw it up close. Anyway, why am I talking about, oh, I'm glad I put down like a beach towel because I knew I'd be making a mess and I am absolutely making a mess. So yeah, I am really digging the way that that looks. Also curious, do you guys, always wear my, like if you do your makeup, do you always wear mascara? I feel like a lot of people have been talking a lot about that kind of thing where, you know, 
I personally have gotten so used to always, like if I'm doing my makeup, I always do mascara. And it wasn't until recently that I kind of had the, I think kind of comical realization. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I could just do some makeup and not do lighter mascara. So I did it the other day, um, actually when we were traveling home, I did just some face makeup, but I didn't do liner mascara. I even put on a little like wash of eyeshadow. And I really liked the way it looked. It was like different, which is funny that, I don't know, I can't explain it. I'm sure some of you guys will know what I mean. Like I just feel like it feels almost wrong. Like why even, I don't know, but it was nice. So I wanna try to do that more often. Like I've got to break free from my own little makeup-y constraints that I've set upon myself, where it's just like all or nothing. I told you this was gonna be a long video. Are you still here? Thank you to those that are. So yeah, I like this. It's not as dry, I don't think, as the original Uncensored Formula. This has a ton of product on it. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, I've wiped off a ton, so that has been interesting. The brush is kind of twisty, and there's a part that just holds a lot of product. I think it's meant to be that way, but um, it's a lot. Like if I had not wiped that off, I I think I would have just had a mess on my hands. We're gonna try it without wiping it off and just see what happens. Oh no, it's okay. If you haven't seen my other trying new makeup video I just did a week or two ago, I tried that viral Milani mascara. Y'all, go watch that video. Just go watch it, okay? Just, wow. Anyway, so yeah, I'm a fan. I would totally recommend this if you were wanting, A, if you were just out of mascara and you like this kind of feathery look, I would totally recommend this. I'm enjoying it. I'll be curious how this formula changes in the next week or two. Hopefully it doesn't like dry out. But like I said, this doesn't feel as dry as the original. Okay, I'm excited for this next part. All right, so this is from Makeup Forever. This is expensive. I wanna look up the actual price. This was sent to me. This was actually, uh, gonna be in my cart. I'd heard about it and I was like, I wanna try that because I don't often try products like this. I was gonna bite the bullet and buy it, so I was pretty psyched when I saw it in PR. I'm like, oh my gosh, perfect. I was gonna buy it anyway. So I'm gonna be looking at this with a really harsh eye because I was gonna be spending my own money on it too. Not that I wouldn't otherwise. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Y'all know, I'm not getting into the whole PR spiel. I know a lot of you guys know my feelings. Okay, Felicity is with my sister and her kids and Felicity's just having a ball and I love getting pictures of her with her cousins and anyway it's so cute all right so 85 dollars is <laughs> but it's really intriguing i've actually i know a lot of my favorite youtubers have reviewed this yet i haven't watched their reviews so i'm i'm curious i want to try it and then i'm curious to watch so it's got some foundation-y colors some concealer colors some corrector colors and then some blushes a highlight and contours right so i'm gonna do this the way that i would typically do Let's start with just cream bronzer. So the way that I would typically do it, instead of applying it to the face, which I think is typically what people do, I'm gonna use this shade and kind of mix it with this one. I'll just kind of see what happens. I wanna use my brush the way I would typically use it. You know what I mean? Because I know that's how, I know how my favorite cream bronzers perform in this way. So it's looking a little orange, but if I go full on, that I think is technically a concealer, but it looks like it could be a nice light bronzer for me, which is why I'm mixing them because that middle one's pretty dark. So I'm gonna keep mixing them the way that I was. It's going on really easily. If anything, these are dewy. And the bit I saw, I did just watch a like um, YouTube short or TikTok, whatever on it. It's definitely dewy, like all of these are. Let's try, what guys were you gonna, sorry. <laughs> were you guys gonna tell me I had mascara? I told you I'm making an absolute mess of myself. So let's try the blush. I'm gonna try this like pink shade because it just looks so pretty to me. I kind of like, I feel like sometimes when I think about cream palettes like this, I always am afraid everything's gonna not be blendable and not be creamy. I don't know why, I always picture them being drier and this is absolutely not dry at all. It's looking really nice. So obviously there are um, concealer shades and corrector shades and foundation shades I'm not using for this because I was wanting to try out other things. I'll definitely play with this. Maybe I'll even do a um, an Instagram reel trying this on my entire face. If you'd be curious to see it, that might be a fun way to do it. I'm trying to think of ideas. In fact, I had better write that down right now because when I sit and I'm like, oh, I've got time to like film a TikTok, I can't think of anything. So Jessica, text yourself. You can hear Pinocchio's stomach growling. All right, so that's looking really nice. They have a highlight I'll show you. I have a different highlight I wanna use. That looks really pretty though. This highlight may be the reason you're watching this video. <laughs> a lot of people when I posted the picture of the things were like, please try that Rare Beauty highlight because there have definitely been mixed reviews online. So 
The one thing I can tell you right off the bat, well, first of all, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Love this. Their blush that came in similar packaging, I actually really did not like. It never worked well with my skin. So when I first saw this, I was like, Ooh, is it going to be kind of dry and patchy like that was? I can tell you with certainty, no. Not dry, not patchy. Like nothing like that formula. So that to me is good news. However, this is the most pigmented highlighter you have ever seen ever like you touch it let me do it let me do it so this white one is called it's kind of like pearly it's called enlighten you barely touch it <laughs> it's insane it is insane so just go into it knowing it so they, they sell a brush that you can get and uh it is well it doesn't say but it's like their highlighting brush so i want to swatch these three so that was enlighten this one is kind of peachier and it is called mesmerize so there's mesmerize there there's enlighten and this one's kind of in between them shade wise and a little bit more gold and this is called exhilarate there's exhilarate you see how it's a little bit golder the more white one and then the more more like um peachy one i genuinely don't know which one to use i'm gonna go with the peachy one actually so that would be mesmerize so when you, I want to swatch this on my hand with the brush so you can see, because that's what I was doing earlier and I was like, ooh, I'm glad I did this on my hand. Um, so you get, I mean, barely anything. <laughs> when I tell you I am so lightly touching this and it doesn't, I mean, it will just absolutely deposit beautiful color. So be careful. <laughs> so I'm wiping it off again. I want to get like fresh. Wow, right? Um, here's the thing. This would be, I should have just used this for my eyeshadow, you know? Here, let me just go to town. This would be the quickest, prettiest eye look. Oh my gosh. If you wanted like an all-in-one type product, because like that, I feel like that made, made this all pop just that much more. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, let's apply it. So first of all, you can see it with, I need to blend it a little bit and without. <laughs> Woo, baby. Um, I'm going to use my sponge to kind of blend it. So you just have to be careful with it. Now I'm kind of wishing I'd done one with my finger just to see. But I mean, it, you saw my finger swatch. Like, it, it's wild. So I definitely, I think this is the shade for me. Like, if you were near my skin tone, I would get this one. The white, I think, will be pretty, too. I'm going to keep it. But if, I mean, I feel like a lot of these are really similar. But definitely mesmerized after seeing it on. That's, like, the tone I like. Um, so if you were looking for one, but it looks really pretty. So I think really the lesson here is just know what you're getting yourself into. Um, I don't think you have to buy this brush unless you want to. This is basically just a highlighter brush. Like, you know what I mean? One that's a little bit bigger than an eyeshadow brush. I don't think it's anything special. I do think it's nice and I'll probably use it with it, but I think you could just use something you already have, but definitely being, um, specific about where you place it. You know what I mean? But I think it looks so so pretty. All right, so we're gonna do a berry lip to go with this. So this is from Buxom. This is their Powerline Plumping Lip Liner in Recharged Ruby. And then this is, I first of all, I love the Buxom Plumping Glosses. This is their Plumping Lip Matte. And this is in the shade Hit the Beach. So I, I feel like these two kind of berry colors go really well together. And I don't know, I'm feeling a, feeling a berry lip today. I'm trying to remember. I, I I think the matte line is new or newer. You guys ever do that trick where you line, you just like connect your cupid's bow and it makes your lips look a little bit fuller on the top. It's funny. Anytime I've ever done it, like legitimately done it, I get asked by so many of you guys if I've had my lips and I'm like, nah, <laughs> I just have big lips. Huh. Thank you for thinking that. My lips are very lined. So it's always funny when I can <laughs> Or when I was pregnant, my lips were so juicy. <laughs> I'll look back at videos, I'm like, wow. Like, but it that was just pregnancy, you know? Is this, yeah, this is berry. It's kind of like a reddish berry. It still has that very familiar scent. You know what I mean? Kind of like coffee cake. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have overlined my lips there. <laughs> I don't think really it looks bad. It just, I think with this bold color, I didn't really need it. So I have to say, this feels First of all, I love this shade. It's like reddish berry. It's like right in the middle. And especially with like a more simple eye look like this, I think it looks really nice. This feels really soft. Oh my. It feels very comfy. And the fact that it's kind of matte, but it's giving me that plumping tingle. This is, this is huge because a lot of matte lipsticks can look very, you know, drying. And this one, if it really is kind of plumping my lips, which I feel like it is, looks really nice, y'all. 
Dang, let me put on, I feel like I need to like fix the line a little bit. Yeah, I am really liking this color. So again, this one's in Hit the Beach. I wonder why they called this Hit the Beach. This would not be a color I would associate at all with that. <laughs> Like not even a little bit. Yeah, that looks really nice. So this is an exciting discovery. I felt like the lip liner was really nice too. It's really creamy. I feel like it's staying pretty well. I'll have to try this out more. I have some other shades in it too. Sometimes because these are really creamy, I always wonder like, are they slipping around? So I'm gonna try to pay closer attention to that. But I feel like all in all, like makeup wise, let me kind of go back through and give you some kind of final thoughts. So if I had to give like a ranking, like what were the top three products I feel like I tried today that I'm really excited to use tomorrow that I would recommend to you guys right off the bat. I really like this primer. I'm really surprised because I've tried a lot of glowy primers and especially lately, unless it's got something special to it, I already have the ones I know I already like. So I haven't been super impressed by a lot that I've tried lately. So this one stands out as more glowy than the rest but I think that can be really nice, especially if you're putting like a super high coverage foundation on or a mattifying one and you want it to kind of balance it out. I just think it looks really nice. And I feel like in the winter, especially my skin can look really dull. And today it is not looking dull at all. I was very surprised by this foundation as well. Very pleasantly surprised. So I'm excited to try it some more, try it with other primers, try it with SPFs just to see how it works, but I thought it looked pretty with the sponge. It looked even better with a brush. I'm excited to use this Makeup Forever palette more. Like I said, I'll update you maybe in a TikTok or Instagram reel slash YouTube short. I usually upload it to all of them. Um, so hopefully I'll get that done for you guys soon. The Pixi eye products I thought were really pretty, but honestly, y'all, I think I like the highlighter. I feel like it's like the same, but a quicker way to get the same look. And if you were thinking about buying the highlighter for the highlight anyway, you can also totally use this as an eyeshadow. I feel like it looks really pretty. And the second I put this on top, it looked so much better. So I like the Pixi ones. I could see, however, myself now just using this for that same look. So I would recommend the highlighter and the highlight is definitely in my top three. So the other ones I'm still excited to try some more. I really liked this mascara. The liner, by the way, did transfer down to my waterline. I've already wiped it up once. I'll probably wipe it up again. So very nice and creamy for what I use it for. I still like it, but it's not waterline approved okay unless you want it on both waterlines in which case it will do that for you you know and same with everything else the concealer i really enjoyed the brow product there really was not a dud in the bunch was there you guys there really wasn't like this lip product i'm really loving i'm excited to try some more but like i love the idea that it's plumping and it's matte-esque you know what i mean i don't i wouldn't consider this like full on matte but it's close and it's just really comfy. So yeah, this is one of the first times I think I've tried a bunch of new makeup, pretty much a full face, it was a full face, and pretty much liked everything. So that's exciting. Hopefully it was fun to watch, exciting. Let me know, are there other launches out there that you're excited about that you'd like to see me try? Ones that you've already tried that you already love or maybe ones that you already hate? Let us know in a comment below. We can get the conversation going. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I love you. I hope you'll go watch my Jammy Award series, my best of the year. Like I said, I'll link those below if you wanna check those out next. And yeah, I'll also link my most recent trying new makeup video if you wanna see that one too. Cause like I said, that's all a bunch of new makeup from just a couple weeks ago. So I love you all. I hope you'll subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.